Austin. Uh, we're so happy with the win, but the crowd really brought so much energy. Um, some individuals really shined. I mean, Amira has been great all preseason. So just seeing her get a goal was so deserving and just getting a win at the end of the game. I felt like um, we were the better team today, but we kind of were a little sloppy here and there. So I'm glad we were able to clean it up and, um, and get that, that final goal to win it. Um, so just proud of the team overall. Yeah. I mean, it was um, a scrappy game here and there, um, but essentially we just uh, brought us all in together and recognized that we have a goal here. We had 30,000 plus people here behind us. And um, it's just a testament to how much we really want this. And Alex coming in with so much pressure that in the end of the final minutes of the game, but still putting away for the win. So just proud of us all together. Thank you, Evans. You'll be on the first win here in the first game of the season at home. Uh, what can you speak about this preseason where I was morning? You came over uh, after international break and saw this group that was starting up already. What did you see in that group that solidified themselves and that you just were able to come in and uh, just add to that? Yeah, I think uh, last preseason, it was very much getting to know each other, um, people on different, uh, different like pages with their fitness level with, you know, where they were in the off season, where they came from. So this preseason, we all came together really fit, um, feeling good, um, didn't have to start from scratch. So I think that that already was, um, was a step up from last year. And, um, I feel like everyone came in really hungry, ready to work. Um, we got some added pieces as well, which, um, you saw with Danny and, and Maggie, um, out there tonight, uh, and a couple other players, but, um, it just, you know, I think that everyone was, was ready to get to work. It was a long preseason. So, um, you could tell that everyone was excited to play in front of this crowd tonight. Jackie, uh, this is for either of you, but just with obviously sending some energy and self records, uh, how would you describe how you think they may go up, um, this in and out from the last year? Um, I think, you know, from the beginning, San Diego has been showing up through and through. Um, in Torero, we would sell it out every single time. Um, and nothing changed when we changed from 50 to 5,000 to 30,000 seats. So I think it's just a testament to the people in this community. They're behind us and we want to work hard for them. And uh, they come through every time. And we really appreciate that. Being the champions, champions for uh, the goal scorer, this big goal, what does it mean for you? What does it mean for you? Another goal in the future? What does it mean for you? Another, sorry, another what? What does it mean for you? Oh, um, I, I mean, honestly, I, last year it was both good on the team side and individual side um, for myself, but I feel like you know, this year, all I want is for our team to win the Shield, to get into playoffs, to um, to go all the way. And so if that means, um, you know, getting a lot of goals in again, then I'm happy to do that. But I think we'll see a lot more players getting um, a lot of goals this year as well, one being Amira. Thanks, congratulations. And big crowd again in the environment. Incredible. How do you feel? I'm sorry? How do you feel with the, the environment and the fans, uh, the crowd? Um, it feels great. I mean, it puts a fire under you for sure. Um, just knowing you have that huge crowd, everyone's always cheering so loud. I mean, sometimes you can't hear anything, can you hear our teammates? But I love that much love that we get from the people in this community, um, our fans. And um, yeah, it just keeps me very excited. Um, it keeps you wanting more, wanting to keep going and just playing for our teammates as well just the crowd really pushes you forward. Yeah, I agree. It's like our 12th man. It's um, it's electric and I feel like it it just helps keep momentum on our side. So it's it's been amazing to see San Diego really rise up for the team. Morgan. So new players on the team today with their debuts, Maggie and Danny. How do you guys think they played in the match role this morning? I mean, I thought that they did great. You know, they were stars for their teams last year and they come in and they fit in right away and they um they did extremely well uh they've shown that all preseason um we have some other players that that didn't quite get in that um we added this year as well but um it's just adding depth to our team i i think that we've only built um from last year 
and gone up and got stronger. And, and those are some important pieces to us moving forward. We're going to wrap up three seasons going through against the city and we open up the season supporting the first world here. So what can you tell us about your game right now? And what's going well for you? Um, I think just different from last year. I'm just coming in with a different mindset, more fit. Um, really listening to the veterans of the team. Alex has really been helping me. And I just feel like it's more so loosening up as well. Um, my first year last year, I think I was a little bit tense and nervous here and there. But knowing that I have people in my corner um, you know, pushing me through. I think that um, it really makes a difference and um, it's showing a lot this year. Yeah. Last question, Steph Young. Oh, thanks. Uh, this is a question for both of you, but Alex, at the end of the game, you were, you know, talking to Jackie and Jordan about playing against Chicago and their three back and how it allowed you to have numbers up in certain areas. Just wondering how you felt the team adjusted from looking maybe a little narrower in the first half, but over the first and second halves to, you know, dealing with that and taking advantage of the spaces that you had. Yeah, definitely. We, uh, we changed our formation a little bit to get that width because we weren't really exposing them in the spaces that we could have in the first half, but that left us a little bit more vulnerable, I'd say to the, um, to the switch and then playing into the mid into the midfield, um, in the second half. Uh, but we got a lot more crosses, I think in the second half, um, had some more opportunities, dangerous opportunities in the second half. And I, I think that it helped us. So, um, yeah, Chicago's gonna, they're gonna leave, you know, three, two in the back sometimes. And, and we know that, um, but they can also just go elicit a mal and, and be extremely dangerous. So, um, it goes, it goes on both sides. So, uh, we're lucky to get, get that third goal for sure. But I, I feel like we can tighten, tighten it up the lines up a little bit more next time we play Chicago and expose them a little bit more, um, when they're left vulnerable in the back line. Thank you guys. Thank you to Alex and Amir.